Today I'm going to talk about my diet as an individual with spastic cerebral palsy. So one word to sum up my diet is balance. If I have a heavy meal, I try to have lighter meals for my next meal. I try not to eat three meals every day. Um, I try to practice a little bit of intuitive eating. Um, so for example, I'm not really a breakfast person as much. I still eat breakfast on occasion, but I will tend to skip breakfast and do intermediate fasting and primarily have lunch and dinner. Um, as a person who's in a wheelchair, you have to pay attention to um, maintaining optimal health, as do we all, but it's much more important um, when you are in a wheelchair because you can't be as active. And um, I've been paying attention to my belly fat and making sure that that is under control. Um, so I will tend to have, um, make sure my meals are portion controlled and that um, I'm paying attention to when my body is hungry. Um, but also making sure that I eat at the right times so that I'm not overly taxing my stomach and then I give my stomach time to digest. As, I, as, I, as I've gotten older, um, probably as a result of my post impairment syndrome, which I have mentioned in uh, recent videos, posted on the channel. Um, when I go into bed, I can't have as heavy as a meal as um, I, I, I might like. So uh, two days a week, I go into bed. And on those days, I have peanut butter sandwiches and uh, some crackers and hummus. And that helps. And then I, I you know, I'm going to make sure that my lunch, I'm having the right food so I'm not star starving myself to death. Um, I'm also going to pay attention to um, making sure that my meals are not too filling, but just right. And um, really making sure that I don't mix heavy with heavy meals. Um, making sure that I have salad a lot and drink green juice and um, really just not eat too much and overstuff myself. Um, and that is my primary, primary diet. Um, I always make sure that I have fruits and vegetables. I love spinach. Um, I love, absolutely love hummus. So I have that almost every day for lunch, with some exceptions. I'll have cucumbers and carrots and grapes and uh, smoothies and just things like that, but of course I'll indulge in sweets and all that other stuff. And uh, sweets are my guilty pleasure, so sometimes I will have to make sure that I'm not overly tempted to have it every day, but on the occasional weeks I will indulge. I also find that sometimes it's better to have two meals instead of three meals. Um, with the exceptional, sometimes I will have three meals. Uh, sometimes, even though I primarily eat lunch and dinner, sometimes I will eat breakfast 
and um, just really paying attention to my stomach and my hunger and what is good for me. So there is no, when it comes to finding the right diet for someone in a wheelchair, there is no one way that will work for everyone. It all depends on, you know, how active you are. Every person that's in a wheelchair is different and some may be more active than others. Um, but really make sure that you customize your diet um, and you work with people you trust, um, like your family, um, trusted friends. And if you need to, you could always contact a dietitian. Um, and if meal prep is a challenge for you, which I encourage you to do meal prep. If you can't do meal prep yourself, you can always rely on your personal care assistant or you can go to a meal prep service um, or if your parents are so inclined like your mom or something like that, they can also make your meals for you. Um, or someone in, in your family or something like that, but you can go to a meal prep service. Um, there are plenty out there if you search online. And um, that's basically it. That's what I would recommend for a diet. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe for more valuable content like this and i'll see you in the next in the next video